Oh, what's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, our offensive into Northern Italy continues. So we are attacking uh, the city of Milan. Genoa and Spain are sending in some troops to reinforce. However, they will not be enough to alter the outcome because the enemy is incredibly weak. So let's get on and take the city. And then we will be following this up with an attack on Genoa. Uh, then a couple of the armies will spend some time refitting and they will be landing on the island of Corsica to the south in subsequent turns. Now, although I'm kind of hoping that the Ottomans make some gains in the Middle East to allow me to capitalise on some uh, Austrian weakness. Anyway, before we get too crazy, let's, uh, let's secure Northern Italy first. Got plenty of artillery, plenty of good infantry. But I don't. This is this. I do not foresee any significant problems, nor should the enemy reinforcements cause issues. Okay, guns at the back, up high. They can shoot over the town for the most part. How it says B, push closer to the front. So I want my guards and the unit of line infantry. They're going to push through the town. The remaining infantry plus sharpshooters are going to skirmish the right. Are going to push on the right flank. Split up my cavalry. Have some cavalry go around the left. Some and my general go around the right. Oh, holy guacamole! You guys to form up like so. Okay, right. Operation push through the town it might be abandoned in place of Operation defend the right flank. Push my cavalry up first just to tie up their cavalry. Get my infantry to cease fire. some infantry back to cover this suicide some of my cavalry in the center so my cavalry is going to tie up the general plus others you men are going to hold position Direct my guns to engage a block of enemies coming in. Now oh, it's fire quick lime. No, you men, cease fire. Same with you guys. You guys pull out. Okay, oh, provincial cavalry is being attacked by our cavalry. Human fire will. The only people you sh yeah, you're engaging their infantry, which is correct. Suicide against the mortars. Now try and get them to pull out, but there's no guarantees. Drop some quick line on our comrades. I don't care if my regiment of horse wavers or breaks. I just want them to get out of the way. There we go. Open fire. Come on, go after the mortars. This is going to be a tricky one. Militia break, that's handy. Excellent. Artillery is doing a good job. Cavalry, withdraw! 
drop new quick line targets, drop new boat artillery targets. No, you fellows retreat. Artillery can more infantry and advance. Just get out of there. So the Genoese have been pushed back. Push up my skirmishes. If the Genoese do come back, my cavalry will deal with them, but I don't think they will. Retarget the quick climb onto the enemy's blob coming in. Good hits, good hits. Keep my gunners aiming on the right flank. Let's see if we can knock out that enemy cavalry unit for good. Make sure you're running, foot guards. Set my artillery, all of my artillery might focus on the concentration. Pull the cavalry back. You want to try and go for the general's bodyguard. We do have an enemy militia unit over here. Let's get one of our howitzers to knock some holes in them. I feel our massed musketry on the flank is going to bring us victory. Shattered, wavering, broken. You men try to pick off the provincial cavs. You've got cavalry coming in to support. We want to stay very still just to not provoke them. That's the general that's retreating. Pull back cavalry. Okay, let's begin to curl in the flank. Lots of enemy retreating, which is lovely. Get my skirmishes out of here. shooting. I mean, this unit try and knock out that militia unit just a little bit. That's where their reinforcements are coming in. They are highly vulnerable. Fifth are broken and they're off. Second being fired upon, not even firing by rank. Good hits, good hits. Excellent, let's in the general advance. Excellent. So let's get my Eurasia around the back of these militiamen. These engineers are going to smash into them from the front. These engineers are going to smash into the 22nd. You men are going to push up and anchor yourselves against this building. Ooh. 
Who's to round shot? Everybody. To be honest, my artillery cease fire. Can kind of limber up, try and catch up. Take the ground. Nice. Theory can limber up, I suppose. I'm not overly bothered. No SARS. Here's the air. Get over here. Line surges forward. Nice, nice, nice. We can have them surrounded with oodles of firepower. Sars, go for the provincial curve. For the provincial cavalry. Okay, should pull you guys back. I'm not. We don't really need to kill the Spanish. They will naturally retreat once the battle has concluded, because this is their last city, I believe. Souls, but it will not be enough. Yeah, looks like that's the last of it. Oodles and oodles of militia. And there goes the sixth. Looks like we're getting sound issues because snow is effectively rain. <laughs> As far as sound bugs are concerned. Yeah, go after them, you're both weak. Everyone else, make ready and fire against these swines. New men smash into the 12th. Reloading. Nice. How about you? Capture their colours. Keep on chopping them down. They are not long for this world. Oh, there's still a unit there, I didn't see them. You've received a volley in the back. Oh, wavering, broken, nice. There we go. That's the enemy force defeated. Yeah, but you are also running away. Nice. Do that is the main battle outside Milan done. Spanish are destroyed. You can retreat if you like, but you're going to disappear. Milan is ours. So let's get repairs done. Let's get our troops repaired. Upgrade the steam engine factory. They have metal roads. You're going to keep replenishing while you siege. You're going to push up towards the port. I might actually just recruit a couple of sloops now. Let's get ready to bring them over. I mean, I know their armies. Oh, their armies pretty weak anyway. I'm gonna fight it manually just to not hurt everyone. Yeah, they got a few mortars. We're gonna blow away in. My rockets are gonna be hitting the center. 
My howards is going to be smashing into the centre. Once we make a breach, I'm just going to pour everyone in. Pour them in. We we got plenty of money to recruit spares. And we are increasingly coming towards... We are getting towards the end of the campaign, really. There we go. So all of my artillery is going to sit here. Blow a hole in the wall. How oh, it says up front. And they're going to fire quick climbs, try and decrew the guns. Everyone else... Stand back. So you men all go up to them. Gunners. One of you go after them, one go after the middle. Got rocket artillery, prepare for bombardment. Load! 24% in <laughs> one volley. Here comes the rockets. It's a miss. They get one unit to attack them, another unit to just smash into the center. They still have. They have manned all their guns. Still, I mean, we still need to uh, decrew some artillery pieces, mostly for the morale impact. I'm not bothered about the damage, the physical damage they do. It's more about they can easily make some of my units break and run. Excellent. That's one gun decrewed. Couple of guns over here, hopefully. More rockets. Let's advance. you guys run a little bit. I'm never that bothered about... Ooh, me. I'm never overly bothered about friendly fire. Uh, <laughs> in situations like that. There you go. Now they're okay. Killed a horseman. Gorillas and a unit of guardsmen up on unit of heavies up on the wall. Artillery charge it, cavalry. Try and see if you can charge in. Sending troops down to try and defend it. I don't think it's going to help them. Let's get the artillery to or how it is to work on something else. Yes, you've bumped into the initial line. Keep pushing through, even if it's only one of you. this down. Come on. Push through. Push through. Starting to make it. Send 
in the infantry. There we go. One unit's mostly through. They can chip away at the gunners. And that'll be all she wrote. Send them in. Keep slaughtering them. Pretty speaking, should pull the cavalry back, but I'm not gonna. Keep killing. So the shells are landing in around my men. Ooh, that's a bit risky. Chug time. So many men are in the breach. Very well. Let's take my. Actually, two guys. Just get my cavalry. Give them another order to push through. Yeah, there we go. Just blow through. Let the, let the follow-up infantry worry about making the about expanding the breach. You just need to be strict on giving giving them command, otherwise they'll get tied up by whatever's going on back here. Send those infantrymen in, why the hell not? Heal the gunners. General's gonna fall imminently. See, their cavalry is slightly coming back, but it's not enough. The armed citizenry, regular infantry, not a problem. That's right, kill him! Kill that last gunner. You men keep killing the general. We got him. Just make one of you guys stay here. You men keep killing the general's bodyguard. Not everyone's even committed. You guys don't even matter. Go. Come here, I'm citizenry, they're starting to pull back. Let's actually make my howitzer to stop shooting. There we go. You men come across, everyone's I was about to see everyone storming over the gate, but apparently not. Storming over towards the gate. Quite calmly leaving the battle space. Yeah, it's only this new firelock on firelock armed citizenry unit that's really good. 65 unit of line infantry is not going to be doing so well. There we go, everyone pushing. There we go. GG Genoa. Second Regiment did the right thing. They are off. They're not taking part in any of that. Real messy siege, but you know what? Sometimes that's what you that's just what you do. You don't need to always fight every battle the most efficient way possible. Sometimes you just want to slaughter everyone, including your own guys. Let's get the port repaired. Get you guys back up together. Upgrade the roads. Nice. So you're going to hold here. Are you replenishing? Yes, you are. Okay. You're going to want to build a sloop 
for a garrison. So you're going to keep... Well, effectively, when war kicks off, we're going to need lots of naval assets around. Got plenty out to the west. So you can really get five, roughly five ships. Let's just recruit five seconds for you. There goes Spain. GG. Took them a longer time than I thought. Um, okay, so we need to get ready. I'm not sure who is going to be the one to kick off the war. I mean, it's probably going to be, well... See, Saxony? We should... Why, why do you not want to trade with me? But everyone keep on moving. So what I want to see is a Ottoman army come out from the west and take Istanbul. Because then I will take it. Military alliance? No. No. I want this to kick off. This has to kick off eventually. Either you do it or I'll do it, Austria. The main thing is I'm curious to see how Saxony and how uh, Savoy hold up to this. Which I think this will be the turn I cancel their military access. I want to get all those troops onto their land, not mine. Got a couple of... a few navies there. Yes. Perfect. Because we're at war with the Ottomans, so we haven't been evicted. I think we should be within range of Moscow and Hanover for all those regions. No. They very much do want to migrate their empire east. That was a dodgy move by Savoy. I hope you're not going to try and go for me. No peace, Genoa. Okay. Just a second, everyone. There we go. Right. Well, let me back in. Let me back in. Didn't even get to see what that was. Traits gained. Construction. Keep on building. I mean, kind of moot now, really, but you know what? I like it. Upgrade everything in Mesopotamia. Good, 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 good. Great cloth mill. Okay, so we have. Oh, you are sure. One infantry... Oh, two guerrilla units. Let's evict an infantry unit. And replace them with two guerrilla mercenaries. And then you are ready to rock and roll. You may actually position yourself for an invasion of... Sweden. So here we've got you. Let's take... Take some infantry. Take a Gherkin unit. Just a second again. Apologies for that. Let's get another general. Fabio Pessoa. Let's get some troops in the mix. Okay, good. I'm not going to break off. Artia to Albuquerque. Nice. I 
just collect or just gather troops in this region. Keep sending down Gurkhas as we get them. Although we're probably not far off. No, nope, we've, we've maxed out our Gurkha contingent. Okay, so you guys, you are within range of Damascus, which is slick. Cool, lots of Janashi Musketeers, Garrison Islamic Swordsmen. That's pretty neat. Let's bring you down for reinforcements. You men are going to wait here. Because these guys are, are largely going to get shipped to cross the Med. Anchor is also going to go down. So first of all... Cancel military access. So they've now been pushed back to their front lines. Or to our front lines, I should say. You're positioned to push into Copenhagen down the line. Although you are short. I was about to say, short two units. You'll be ready to push Copenhagen. Let's build you guys up. Five infantry units. We've got skirmishes. We don't have any skirmishes, so let's get two units of Cazador. Yeah, Puckle Gun, even though they're rubbish. Two more regular units of infantry, it looks like. Because I can't get anything else. Can't even get any Western European infantry mercenaries. Oops, no, not sharpshooters. So you'll be ready to also attack Sweden. I mean, we're going to really want to shut down their navy pretty rapidly. So the recruitment carry on. Okay, but, but, we have things to do. Let's get my spy up here. So let's go after Damascus. That's our first, our first thing to destroy. Take Damascus, take Ankara, the Ottomans are defeated. And then it really is a, okay, who are we going to fight next? And I may try and see if we can pick on Württemberg. Just to squeak them in a little bit more. Just squeeze in the borders. You must not fight too often with one enemy or you will teach him all your art of war. Yeah, that's, I suppose, I suppose he is a, a war theorist in that way. And that is true, I suppose, in the end. Okay, we are going to push. I'm going to seat guns up on this high ground. They're going to engage in counter battery right off the bat. Yeah, I'm back here. Okay. Skirmishes and the bows can be grouped together. Let's try to keep my irregulars together so I don't, hopefully I don't forget and sh shoot a bunch of my own guys. You're going to get shot if you stay there. You should be fine. Oh, naturally, they sat as far away as they can. Can't really blame them. They are on the defensive after all. So I switched my artillery to my howitzers to fire a round shot. It looks like my wood artillery can't really engage anything. My howitzers can get shots into the center. Okay, how many 
flare up. And how it says they can only really hit. Ooh. Plum onto a gun. Excellent shot. Push up to here. And tribal auxiliary, stay mobile, fire at will, off until I'm ready. QFC air, push even further. They might have a good number of melee troops, but they are still going to want to engage in ranged combat. I've found a unit of Azar. Push in, destroy them. It's a human chopper. The mercenaries. We'll chop up the skirmishes and retreat. Fire it will arm. Okay, now we're gonna even pull back. They're gonna get within range of other units. Try and dig out. You don't want to stay stationary. You men just keep just keep gunning down the plane. We're picking away this flank. She both drop quick climb on this spot. That shells in the air. Tribals are going to push in. Cursier push in. You men push in. Tearsman push. Bowman get over towards the centre. Tearsman push up as well. Let my tribal auxiliary chase the enemy down. Bring my cavalry back. We're going to have to try and blow our way in. Auxiliary push on to make sure the enemy are destroyed. Oh no, I don't want to get too close to that block. Charging the swordsman is great. I want to make sure my there you go, quick climbs coming in. Oh. oh oof. Very bad news. Okay, let's switch to round shot, retarget. We don't need to keep going. Tearsman. Should you men go there? When 
volunteersmen go here. I keep trying to pick off the cavalry. Where's my other... Oh, that's my cavalry. That's just not going to work, is it? Get my cavalry to retreat. Let's try and reform my line a bit more intelligently. Taking losses. Come on, you men, feel free to engage. Okay, you men all smash into the Philaine. Secure the armory. Curacier, push in. Secure the enemy artillery positions. Garrison is landing swordsmen. Smash him with quick line. A lot of cavalry back here. Get over there and help them out. Let's bring my heavy cavalry back. Smash the horsemen. Uh, oh, I really hope we don't. Okay, let's run my cavalry up far down the flank. And get the horsemen as well. They think they're winning. But once our Curacier go to town on them, I think they're going to be very upset. Pursue the swordsman. Okay, right. Now let's. God, it's going to be difficult to dig them out of here, isn't it? Try to engage us in the armory, but it's not going to work. Just smash into them, shatter them, please. Light cavalry shatter them. We need to bring our heavies into the mix. This is still going on. The bowmen should be providing some support to this infantry unit. Well, my Jaspers didn't get involved in that combat, that's why it eventually got a bit squippy. out of the city. If we go up with camels, we can beat camels in an open combat. You just keep running past. Gunners shoot, shoot the bejesus out of them, knocking down some of the buildings. start advancing and trying to take the city. Excellent, that's the horsemen destroyed. 
we'll try and attack the camel nomads. I'm not expecting miracles. Because they are light cavalry versus camels. That's normally a really bad idea. But we've got Curassier in the mix and they need a bit of help. You men are going to die on stakes here. Push out and then around into the back of the camel nomads. Didn't mean to select those chaps. So yeah, you men attack that mortar unit. You men just set up and shoot at the enemy here. That's not what I wanted you to do at all. You just come help out against the uh, against the camel nomads. Although we might surround this Chancery Musketeer unit, because we can. Is that the camel's broken? Yes, it is. Oh, these poor, poor souls. Excellent. That was the interesting battle. That was good. I like that. So Damascus is ours. Let's get repairing. Build defences. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade Beirut. And let's start to recruit a bunch of sloops. Because yeah, we are going to want someone here ready to hold, ready to push from the Savoy holdings in the Middle East from the east. We've got this, this army here who's ready to push in from the west. Tripoli is already majority Catholic. We've got an army here. And Tunis that's ready to rock and roll. They might just get committed to fight against. So to take out Cairo off the bat. These troops just push up to the uh, border areas. So we're going to definitely be able to take out this garrison. Considering they are mostly wounded Armenian archer units <laughs> in defensive positions. So let's take out Ankara. That's the end of the Ottoman Empire. And then we will see what happens then. Uh, getting towards the end of the episode, so I imagine we'll take this city, do the replenishment, do the building and upgrading, hit end turn, see what happens. Maybe the AI might declare war on us. Although, to be fair, that's always a good time to end an episode, because then it means the next time I start recording, I just hit end turn and I know I've not missed anything. Excellent commanding position up here. The rest of the infantry sends guardsmen. I mean, we're just, just going to push up and smash them. Put some elites scattered with my lights just to provide them a bit of protection. Howitzers just fire round shot. That's going to be the job of the cavalry to find their archer detachments. charging and I don't give a damn we're gonna to charge to meet you there's a warriors archers some archers at the rear yeah, if you take too long we're gonna uh, where are you look at that for routing and your penance you can support the charge against these camels Well, they that's kind of what the Grenadier Guards are here for. My light troops push out. Oh, 
push. Those camels were 100% done for. Keep slaughtering them so they're shattered. Garrison Islamic Swordsman, eh? We have killed their general. Try and get people that aren't broken, people that aren't shattered, shattered. This is carnage. Why aren't they still? Broken, not shattered. More rockets. Really make me feel sorry about retreating. Oh God, that's going to be it. A unit of Armenian archers being engaged by our general. That's all they got. Artillery ceasefire. Infantry ceasefire unless you gun down our general. Could chase them down, all of them down, but these are going to be our new subject. yourself we don't want to go too mad we're just going to engage them with everything we've got lots of good artillery hits how it's shells coming in he's tooting his trumpet goes <laughs> they thought better of it excellent that is the end of the Ottoman Empire which is pretty darn tasty so you're gonna get off my land See, the number of wars that have been fought over this area, there is no, no buildings are in good condition. Excellent. Persinop, Izmir. Upgrade the dockyard. Upgrade this dockyard. Frankly, we don't need money. Recruit some sloops. So let's build a church school. Let's be honest, let's just build a couple of church schools. We don't need the cash. Good, good, good. You men push up. So they're going to start feeling a bit uncomfortable. Venice is the only enemy, is the only faction we're at war with that hasn't been destroyed. And it may be desirable, actually also Genoa, um, it may be desirable to knock out these two these two fractions first before we do anything too crazy but I am content with stirring up Austria but if possible actually I might take a bunch of these armies and deploy them to Venice Sure. 
You don't need you, you're a good candidate army to defend against um, Savoy, because this army is a bit more interesting. Okay. Fleet arrives. You require repairs. Can you join them? Repairs, please. And then you guys also need repairs. Not very big repairs, but repairs all the same. You men can wait your turn outside of here. Good. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, you can't take both your ships. You can't even take either of them. You're at full strength. Now they're demanding territory. They're getting antsy. If you want it, come and get it. You're going to swap some ships around. You're going to be sorry. Same with Sweden if they start kicking up a fuss. They too will suffer at our hands. Hmm. Looks like Saxony's really running out of options. Well, they can't really sustain their army. It all looks rather weak. Which is not good for us if they're supposed to be one of our allies. Oh well, never mind. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. Your path's been blocked. Okay. Now, can you leave? You can! Excellent. Just get you up to here in general. Upgrade. Engineer school. New commercial basin. And then we've got a bunch of stuff in Turkey to repair. Or to build actually, because we didn't. We haven't got many. Up, didn't do many upgrades. All we could do was just repair things. So up here at Sino, let's build a sloop to repair or to to defend you. Let's get rid of the university. So I forgot about that. Repair Trabzon. Batman we can have a church school. You guys. So you're the one we want. You men may be the ones to attack Venice. You're still going to mass recruit sloops. So in terms of Württemberg, is that how we kick all this off? Ally with Austria, Sweden and Portugal. I think it is, because this, we have to make something happen. We can't just... We can't just hang around, so I think... It's going to be Württemberg who kicks... We're going to kick all this off. 
Cancel our trade agreement. Cancel our alliance. Declare war. Who will you pick? Sweden. Sweden joined us. We're off. Awesome. So. You men get up here. You're not going to be able to cross yet. You're, you may not get in position. You're going to come down to here. Mass recruit sloops. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to waste this turn. I want to pick apart their navy. So you are going to blockade. This port, you're going to blockade this port. You're going to build some fifths just to blockade Trieste when the time comes. You're going to raid Heracleon and then Piraeus. We're going to put you in against Thessaloniki. You're going to sit in at Heracleon. And you, Mr. Sousa, get to open the ball against this Austrian fleet. We do not seek to capture, we seek to destroy. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.